Good morning, Omega 5 Fisher fans. You know who this is. So I got a couple things going on today. So today is uh, real gloomy outside. But what I've been up to, I've been on a boat a few times and I've been out in the Alameda Rockwall area trying to catch some halibut. So to give you guys a little FYI, there has been halibut out in the Rockwall area. So there are still a lot of people catching good sized halibuts out there. There, You have to sift through a lot of shakers just to get a good size, but they are out there and it is a land of plenty shakers. So that's my update for fishing on a boat out in the rock wall area. But today, since it's a real gloomy day, it's actually raining, high winds, not very ideal for fishing. Today marks another day where I am gonna do uh, episode two of a DIY. So introducing to you again, another installment of DIY with Omega-5. This is gonna be um, number two on how to make a pier rod holder that you can use in the SF Bay. So if you notice, the pier rod holders for Pacifica are totally different from rod holders that I use out in the San Francisco Bay. Since the halibut are in Alameda Rockwall, they're slowly gonna make their way towards Beauty Pier, Torpedo Wharf, out in that area, Paradise, all these other different piers. That pier rod holder you use for Pacifica Pier is specific to Pacifica Pier, okay? You cannot really use it to catch or use as a rod holder at Muni Pier or Torpedo Wharf. Very difficult to use. And very difficult to find a place to use it for. So, since we're going to the area of Manteca, we're gonna head to our local Bass Pro Shop in Manteca. We're gonna pick up two rod holders. It comes in a set. I believe it's like $30. So, on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a rod holder for alternative piers besides Pacifica Pier. This rod holder you can use, if you make it, you will be able to use at Pacifica Pier, but what's good about it, it's versatile. You can use it at Muni, you can use it at Oyster Point, you can use it at Torpedo Wharf, very versatile rod holder. It's meant for smaller rods, you can't use a 12 foot or 11 foot, but at the 10 foot range and smaller are definitely ideal for this rod holder. We use it for halibut. It's a good rod to use, rod holder to use. So that's what's gonna be on this episode. I'll check you out when we get to Bass Pro. All right guys, so I'll see you then. Here we are, Bass Pro Shop, Manteca, California. Disneyland for fishermen's all around. Can't wait to get inside and uh, do a little shopping. Yeah, buddy. Parking lot looks kind of full. I wonder what's going on. All right, guys, we're here, Bass Pro Shop. Check it out. Mega Five Fisher on scene. So prior to the start of the video, uh, I did go inside to the customer service counter, and I did ask for permission to see if I can, and we'll be allowed to videotape inside. We got the go-ahead from the manager. So, hey, check it out. If you guys haven't been here before, this is Manteca, Bass Pro Shop. Good place to go. 
Get your local fishing supplies. Beautiful place to be. Not only fishing, hunting, and uh, boating experiences. A lot of camping gear. So I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit and we're gonna head out to the fishing department, which is real big here. We got a marine center uh, for all your boating needs. Most of your boating needs, I wouldn't say all, but they do have your general stuff here. So these are rod holders I'm talking about. All right, you can get them here at Bass Pro for right now $20. That's a steal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually pick up two of them because a friend of mine asked if I can pick some up for him and he wants to make a couple rod holders for himself too. So this is the definite thing I came here for. Sorry. And uh, I'm gonna just make a quick run through a couple aisles, especially the deep sea fishing aisles. And we're gonna check those out. All right, see you guys soon. Believe it or not, that's the size hook that I caught my largest halibut, my PB halibut. Of uh, 34 and a half inches. So, granted that it is a small hook, you know, anything could have happened. I could have lost that large halibut if it ran and decided to. But uh, if you finesse it enough, you can catch big fish on small hooks. Um, the reason why I chose that hook was uh, the bait, the anchovies we had were small, so unfortunately, you know, you want to size up the hook to your bait. You don't want to use a large hook, let's say like this, for anchovies. It just won't work. It'll definitely kill your bait right when you hook it. So uh, remember that, small hooks, small bait. All right, and then just finesse your way when you catch your fish. You know I gotta visit the aquarium, guys. There you go, Omega 5 Fisher. Caught my first sturgeon with Chris a while back. Just to give you a quick look of how they look like. Although mine was a 73, not to brag. But yeah, here's a closer look. The dino, beautiful fish. I'm glad I caught a 73 for the first time and I let it go. Awesome fight, awesome feeling. Good fish, beautiful. Very majestic creature. We also got some smallmouth, largemouth bass in here. But the highlight of this, definitely the sturgeon. Got some catfish for you catfish fans. All right, guys, so we've just finished shopping over at uh, Bass Pro Shop Manteca. Just want to let you know, uh, they do have a lot of uh, saltwater fishing gear that we would use out in the San Francisco Bay. They're not only, you know, uh, specific to bass fishing, but, you know, you have a good variety of saltwater stuff. 
uh, they are low on some things um, they have crabbing uh, equipment uh, not too much on snares and things like that but uh, you can um, get what most of the stuff that you need over at Bass Pro Shop um, some of the local shops in San Francisco are a little bit better the fact that they're closer is one thing but definitely when you have the chance uh, check out your local Bass Pro Shop it, it is a good experience they do have a lot a lot of inventory as far as other things like shirts clothing camping gear uh, stuff for your uh, boats marine stuff um, definitely Bass Pro uh, carries a lot of bass fishing gear uh, not too much of the things you'd find out in San Francisco uh, prices are competitive but uh, you know all in all they are still average about the same price that you would find from your local uh, shops out in the Bay Area so again thank you for watching this um, see you guys later on when we do the DIYs this is the Bass Pro rod holders all right, we're definitely gonna use these and make some rod holders that I use for the local piers out in the Bay Area. It already comes with screws, but uh, not too sure if these are um, saltwater approved or even um, stainless steel, but I might change them out because I do need bolts, not screws. So I will check you guys out when we're making the rod holders. All right, see you soon. as you can see we have the stuff laid out so this is the side you want your rod holders to be in this position where the two holes are as you can see the rod holder locks this way that's why I chose that position if you put it the opposite direction the rod just pops out there's no lock so we want to mount it this way turn the rod holder and it locks so let's go ahead and put on the screws and nuts So once again, as you can see, in this position, you can lock the rod holder. It adjusts up and down with that locking mechanism. Nice and stiff. You can reposition it as the current changes. All right, so that's it, guys. And just repeat on the second rod holder. So I mounted 
this rod holder to the bench. As you can see, this is the position you would lay out your rod. This being the back side. You can adjust it up and down, turn it as the current changes. So you don't, you don't have to move your rod holder in any other spot. Very versatile rod holder. The wood clamp, you know, holds real tight. It locks in one place. You twist it around. You can remove the rod holder, position it back, and turn it so it locks. So in the instance you have a big fish, it won't pull the rod holder off the clamp. Let's see how it looks with a spinning rod. This is a small five foot six spinning rod, ultra light, just as, as an example. There you go, you can position your rod as the current changes, left to right. Just lift a little, turn. And if you want to remove your whole rod holder, you have to pick it up, turn it, and twist 180 degrees. This lock here allows you to adjust the height or the angle of how you want your rod to sit. And let's see how it looks with a bait caster reel. I like how it sits here because it has that natural curve for your bait casting reels or conventional style reels. And again, you can make adjustments. It holds well, it locks. I'm pushing it down and it barely moves. little lock there just in case your rod gets pulled out but all in all very versatile uh, cheap this total cost about $35 to make for two 